All right, I want to show you a quick tip for how to get a really cool rendering on your 3D point clouds in QGIS. Now, I will tell you that by the time this video launches, you should be able to get this video ad-free and with the data I'm using if you go subscribe on geospatialschool.com. I'll include the link below in the description. So that's how you can get the data. So I have this point cloud here. It's color point cloud. You can check out the video on how to do this with Pete out if you're interested in attaining a point cloud just like this. And we're going to make a new 3D view here. So let's go new 3D map view. And just drag that bigger. And we'll zoom to the layer like this. And I'm going to just um, come to my settings and do a quick configuration to get rid of the 3D axis here, and we'll say OK. Now that axis is gone. And I'm going to do one more thing that I forgot about. Let's configure. Let's make this field of view um, about 25 degrees to make it easier to interact with our view here. OK, and I'm just going to get more of an oblique view so that you can see how this feature is going to work. Uh, Okay, and we're just going to zoom in on an oblique angle here just a little bit so we can see kind of what this point cloud looks like. So you can see there that we can see the elevations, um, but things kind of blend together. In the past, I've showed you a couple of actions you can take to make this look a little better, and I'll go over those real quick here. So we can do um, show item lighting. Uh, which is going to be the biggest one. You can see that we get some lighting and some distinction between the different features there. Now there's one big thing we can do to make this look more like a surface. And that is if we go over to our layer styling. So if you don't have this, go to layer, or sorry, go to view, panels, and layer styling here. And we want to click on this tab here, which is the 3D symbology settings. 3D view. And you can see we have point size, screen space. The big thing you want to do is click on render as a surface, triangulate. And you can see now we get those surface, surficial features showing up. Um, let me just expand this a little bit. And now let's go in and let's turn off idle lighting. And you can see that this looks much more like a 3D model, and we get much better distinction of features than we did with the eye dome lighting. Uh, and so this is really, really cool. And we'll just zoom in a little bit here. It's going to take a little longer to load the surface, but you can actually kind of see where the footprint of these trees are, where the peaks are, where the open areas are, and it gives you a really, really great 3D view. So that's your QGIS quick tip for this week, is how to render a point cloud as a 3D surface. Hope you found this helpful. And again, if you want to see the data and this video with no ads, just head over to geospatialschool.com and sign up for the course.